I'm Christina Guerrero. Well, it's the season for gift giving and get togethers, but all that FaceTime and family time can have a downside. In fact, it's the number one time of year for couples to break up. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Hattie Dijamal has ways to take the turmoil out of your love life. And that is our featured story at the top of the list. The holidays and the end of the year bring lots of parties and gatherings. And for couples, all that time together can really ratchet up the stress. During the holidays, it's a lot of time for reflection. At the same time, you think about what matters to you. You've got this time off, you've got family flying in, you've got people that you haven't seen in a long time, and then you're thinking, do I want to be with this partner? Carmelia Ray, celebrity matchmaker and relationship expert, can help you evaluate your relationship and hopefully reduce the stress from your love life. For starters, analyze your biggest insecurities. A lot of relationships do tend to break up based on one's insecurities. Those insecurities can rear its ugly head and all of a sudden you're telling stories about yourself or you're thinking they don't like me. She says people often interpret others' behavior as negative based on how they view themselves. They're either self-sabotaging, they're miscommunicating, or their behavior is so erratic that their partner wants to run for the hills. If you've been through several breakups, look for the common denominator. Do the math, figure out what it is that's really bothering bothering you? What are the things that you're hiding from people? What are you afraid of? Carmelia says some people are afraid of some form of judgment. Work on developing your own self-confidence, your own self-worth, and identifying those insecurities. Next, communicate clearly. For many of my clients, they usually ask me, should I tell them that I want kids? Should I say that I want a family? Should I tell them that I want to be married by a certain time? I always say, yes, you want to communicate the things that really matter most to you. The key, learn how to share your feelings with your significant other without worrying that they'll leave you. You cannot say the right thing to the wrong person. And you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Communicate your fundamental goals, lifestyles, and values to your partner or potential partner. And if they don't like it, then it's their loss. Finally, don't sweat the small stuff. It's amazing how many people choose to focus on the little things. You know, those little things repeatedly every day can get under your skin. And then you've got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is this something you can live with? Can you overlook those things? Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to be right? Carmelia says oftentimes that behavior is a story that you've attached to an issue. And it could mean something completely different to your partner. The things that you should really focus on are the fundamental issues that will make or break a relationship. Keeping your love story stress-free is at the top of the list.